So welcome to Own Your Health with me, Katie Brindle. Now, you may or may not have heard of me, but I am a Chinese doctor and I'm here to help you. And that's what I'd like to do with this podcast. And this podcast is all about self-care and how you can help yourself using the discipline that I've been training in for many years now, despite appearances. I've been doing it for over 25 years and it is Chinese medicine. Now, most people, when I say, oh, I practice Chinese medicine, they go, oh, is that acupuncture and herbs? And I go, well, it is, but there's a whole massive aspect of Chinese medicine that people actually don't know exists. And it's called Yang Sheng. And what's that? That's self-care. And while self-care has probably only been going in kind of Western culture for about five to 10 years now, in Eastern culture, self-care has been a massive thing for thousands of years. And they know a thing or two about it. And there are techniques over there, which I've discovered during my training as a Chinese doctor, that have blown my mind. And they are as powerful to your body as brushing your teeth is for your, for your dentistry. These techniques are going to help you massively. You just need to know what they are, and you need to just find a couple of minutes a day to do them. That's all I ask. And with that, I can help you on this podcast. Podcast. So my training has come from an amazing epiphany that I had um, many years ago after I suffered a horrible car accident in my early 20s. And unfortunately, as a result of that car accident, I really suffered. I lost my career. I couldn't sit at a desk. I wanted to be an opera singer, couldn't sing. Um, and I went to the doctor. And unfortunately, the things that they recommended didn't work. And I did what many people do at that moment in time, which is you go from pillar to post, trying everything and getting in a complete muddle, not knowing what's right, what's wrong, getting too confused, nothing's working. And then eventually, you just learn to suffer. And you learn to up with it and you kind of get on with your life and there we go. And that's kind of what happened to me until one day um, I was actually walking up the uh, high street in Edgware with a Sainsbury's bag of shopping and there was one of those TCM clinics on the high street that said 10 minutes of massage for 10 quid and I was in so much pain with this with this shoulder injury that I thought do you know what I actually don't care what they do because I'm in so much agony I'm just going to go in and they can just do what they like because it can't be worse than this and um, that's where the magic happened that was my epiphany eureka moment where they did this amazing technique called gua sha on the pain and within seconds the pain started to go and I was kind of crying in euphoria and misery all at the same time. And as I left that 10 minutes later with my shopping bags, as a changed woman, I literally changed my life. I jacked in my job. I actually jacked in my boyfriend as well for good measure. I literally just jacked in everything. My dad went nuts. And I just thought, right, fuck it, I'm training as a Chinese doctor. And I did. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. But over the years, I started obviously doing sort of practical applications of Chinese medicine because I had to earn money. So I was doing massage reflexology and acupuncture. But um, I had another epiphany moment about 10 years ago, kind of just before the, the, the self-care motion was sort of coming in. And I got a bit sick at this point of people coming to me last because you're always the last resort, just like it was for me. So when I went into that TCM clinic, I was desperate, okay? And it was the last resort. I'm like, I don't literally care what they do because this is such a weird alien concept of Chinese medicine. I don't care. And what I wanted to do was get it as the first thing you do because it actually isn't that alien. We're talking about things like tapping the body, massage. We're talking about foot bathing, breathing, walking. Uh, we're talking about your negative narrative, stuff you say to yourself all day long. We're talking about the time at which you go to sleep, practices first thing in the morning, just really simple stuff, just basic life, which we've kind of lost along the way um, in sort of the Western development of things. We've forgotten all this stuff. And it's so simple to do. It is literally like brushing your teeth. So that is where I've come from. And that's why I really sincerely hope that Own Your Health will be a podcast that you can enjoy. We're going to be doing it, dropping episodes twice a week, she says, very trendy. Um, we're going to cover all sorts of exciting topics like, um, well, she says exciting, menopause, which is a big one out there, energy, sleep, libido. We're going to talk about all sorts of health issues so that you in turn can own your health. Now, before we depart, what I'm going to do each time is leave you with like a kind of little takeout a self-care takeout um, that you can do for yourself. So today is no exception. So I'm going to teach you three cool things that you can do right now for yourself without literally um, leaving where you're sat right now. So the first thing is what I call the shimmy. Because one of the problems that we have is uh, we're really stressed and we're really busy and we get caught up in this really fast pace, like brrr, kind of energy, okay? So what we need to do is relax. But what happens is we get exhausted yet restless and we can't relax. We're like, oh, I can't relax. Let me go back on Instagram. Let me just, oh. right. So what we do is we go into the shimmy. So all you have to do is shimmy. So you just do this. 
And you'll notice if you start just gently going from side to side, as you just so what I'm doing for those of you who are not watching, okay, I'm just jiggling my shoulders and just gently rocking myself slightly like a crazy woman from side to side. So start fairly fast because you're likely to be stressed. OK, when you're doing this, you're likely to be in sort of normal energy. So when you start to shimmy, just start with that pace and then slowly start to slow the breath. So that's actually technique number two, which I'm morphing into technique number one. So slow your breath. OK, so whilst you're doing it, allow the breathing to slow. So just breathe in slowly for four. Linger at the top of the breath for four. And breathe out slowly for four. And linger at the bottom of the breath for four. Now keep doing that whilst I'm talking and you'll start to notice that as you slowly breathe, your shimmy is likely to start to want to slow down a bit. And then let me give you technique number three, noticing yourself. Ah. You see, we're trained to pay attention to everything else, our phones, our jobs, our to-do lists, the telly, everything outside. This takes you to your inner universe. So just focus on that breath and start to notice how you feel. Because feeling is healing and observation is how you start to heal the body. So you start to pay attention to how nice that breath feels. How, start to actively start to slow that shimmy down a little bit and start to notice the body feeling a little bit of pleasure in its relaxed state. And going, oh, that feels quite nice. And just allow your eyelids maybe to get a bit heavy Slow the breath and maybe now you can stop the shimmy and just start to just gently undulate the body from side to side. Just imagine you've got a massive piece of dental floss through your waist and I'm just pulling it from side to side and your shoulders are coming last. And breathe slowly and perhaps start to give yourself permission to feel a little bit of peace and a little bit of relaxation. And that is you transforming your body out of exhausted yet restless, which is not very pleasant, into a lovely feeling of relaxed yet energised, which is really nice. And you can then just come to a stop there and just allow yourself to observe the relaxed state and think, oh, that's quite nice. Now that's a really useful takeout for you to just do when things are getting a bit much, but it's also the beginning of meditation, <gasps> which is something we will discuss another time because I know the number of people that say to me, I really want to meditate or I've tried it, but I can't. And I'm like, yeah, because you can't go from that frenetic state into this feeling just like that. You've got to do a little bit of a transition, which is what I've just taught you. So the first step is to relax, which is what I hope I've just taught you to do. So perhaps practice that between now and the next time. And then I'll teach you the next thing. And eventually you'll be meditating for 20 minutes a day and wondering how you live without it. And there we go. Thank you for joining me on my first ever episode of Own Your Health. I hope that was as good for you as it was for me. <laughs>